Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy and today back with a quick win on how you can use Swiper instead of Ion Slides because with Ionic 7, Ion Slides are finally removed. They were deprecated with Ionic 6 and I'm going to show you how you can integrate Swiper and use different functionalities real quickly. So I have started a blank new Ionic Angular application and to get started, what we need to run is npm install Swiper latest. Now, the problem is Swiper 8 was easy to integrate, had some Angular components. Swiper 9 is just a web component that we need to integrate. So there's the setup a tiny bit different. I'm going to walk you quickly through those steps. So head over to the page where you want to use it. And on that page, I'm going to open up everything that we got here. On that page, what we need to do is we need to add the custom elements schema and then add a block for schemas down here using the custom elements schema so we can actually use our component. And as a next step, we can go to our homepage and change this to show the swiper container. And I'm gonna open up the Ionic Surf so we can actually see something on the site. Let's move this here and reduce this. So the only thing we need to do is install the package, add the custom elements schema, and then hopefully we should be able to swipe if we add this. No, apparently we're not yet able because we need to register this component as well. So next to installing it and adding it to the custom elements to your module, you need one place where you register the component. This could be um, just in here, so let's do this. Uh, we need to call the register function. So let's grab this from the code, register, put it in here and just call it once. So that should be enough to finally initialize the swiper and voila, we now got a swiper in our app. It's really as easy as that. If you wanna make this uh, covering the whole page, you can add a bit of CSS just like this. So the swiper container could take up the full height and width and then we display the swiper slides in the center. So now we have it just like this, pretty exactly the same setup that we had in the past with Ion Slides. Now, if you want some more options, let me show you a few more things that might be helpful for your application. So going to our HTML, I'm gonna change the swiper container to also uh, listen to the slide change event, to loop through everything and also to display the pagination. So you can find all of these settings in the API of Swiper. Um, you just need to make sure that you're actually selecting the version nine and not the old documentation. In our case, we also need a little function. So let's create this in our homepage. There we go, Swiper changed. And now I can open up my console and if I change this, we see the change event. And additionally, what we also see is at the bottom, we have the three dots we can loop through. So that means we're having like an infinite loop. And we also have the pagination in place. Great, that's a good starting point. Um, on top of that, we can also use Swiper with TypeScript. That was actually a bit more complicated to set up, but let me change our code. So I'm gonna add two buttons to the top so we can go pref and next. And I also added a template reference to the swiper container so we can uh, easily access it and calling the uh, swiper ready event in the after init as a sort of helper function. Now what we need is we need a view child, which is our swiper, that is only the element ref. And then we will actually import swiper from swiper. And of course, also add the view child element. And now the thing that I came up with is when swiper is ready, we will initialize our swiper variable like this using the native element dot swiper. Because when we do this, we also get code completion. So now we can easily create functions to go next and pref using this dot swiper. And you're gonna notice if you do this, this dot swiper, you get code completion with all the stuff available on swiper, like swiping somewhere, triggering autoplay or anything like that. And in our example, go forward, go forward, go pref. Everything now works nicely. Now, one more thing. If you wanna style this, you can use CSS variables because this is now 
uh, web component and you can inject styling just like you're used to from Ionic component. So if you wanna give the um, bullets here a different color, we could now use the previously used Ionic color. They actually got a snippet for this. So you see it slightly changes the color and you can find this even here in the Ionic documentation um, where they added a bunch of these blocks. Additionally, they also used the Ionic Slides module. I haven't found any real benefit of attaching the modules of Ionic Slides, but feel free to give it a try. One last thing that I wanna show you is how you can zoom into images because I usually know that this question will come up. I could also create a dedicated video, but while we're here in a quick video, let's just add an array of images. Could be anything you want. And in our swiper slides, we're gonna now make this a dynamic ng4, ng4, let image of images. And instead of displaying a text, we're gonna display the image. Uh, there we go, image like this. So now we should have images in our slides. And let's see if we can actually get this zoom going on on the, com I don't know if I can zoom here. The only thing you usually need for zoom is to add one div element with a class uh, swiper copilot. Are you able to figure this out? No, you're not. Uh, <laughs> swiper image uh, zoom. No, actually not swiper image zoom. It's had a different name now. Swiper zoom container. That was the name. And putting in the image. Let's see. Um, yeah. I didn't expect this to work on a computer. So you're gonna have to trust me on this one. Um, oh, by the way, you, oh, no, I wouldn't trust Simon like this. Don't trust me as easy as this. I might be kept Ionic, but still I, I might make mistakes. So now you can trust me. We need to add zoom true and add the swiper zoom container. And now there was a way to do this with my keyboard. I don't know, um, but I, at least I can zoom in completely and go to the next. So you see swiper and image zoom working once again. Zooming was always a big thing. Uh, you ask about this many times, how you can zoom into stuff. And by doing this, it works. By the way, one thing I noticed is that on a device, it sometimes feels strange because you can actually scroll, um, uh, is it vertical? Yeah, it's vertical. So in that case, you can just disable on ion content, the scroll, which usually gives a better scrolling and zooming experience. Now. Oh, that was nice. How did I do that? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this quick win. Really, I just wanted to cover how you can go from Ion Slides to Swiper. It works basically the same like before. So give it a try, install it, um, add the custom element schema, add the registration to your app component or a place where you call this once and then use the element from Swiper. It is still the same thing that was used under the hood of Ion Slides, so nothing really changed. But this is the new way, starting with Ionic 7, Ion Slides is finally removed. If you enjoyed the video, of course, also check out the Ionic Academy, which is my place to help you with all your questions about Ionic, all your problems about Ionic, courses about Ionic, and of course, also our private Discord community to hang out with fellow Ionic developers. And finally, hit the like button and stay subscribed for more videos coming in the future. I will hopefully catch you in one of those videos. And until then, happy coding, Simon.